What's up guys, Maddie Mo here. So someone asked me the other day what the difference was between Office Online and Office 365. So I thought it was a great question and said, you know what, I'm gonna do a video about it. So let's start off talking about Office Online, the free version. Now Office Online allows you to use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote all for free. You can even also use Outlook.com as your email client rather than buying Outlook as a separate entity. Right there you already have a simple but effective home office suite that you can use to begin editing documents. Now this is great for students, home users, and people who don't need all the bells and whistles of the full-fledged Microsoft Office suite. The biggest difference is that the free version only provides you the basics and limited functionality compared to the paid versions. Now for example, forget about making macros in Excel. You won't be able to do that with the free version. In fact, if you click on the data tab, the only thing you can actually do is put columns into ascending or descending order. In PowerPoint, for example, you only have four transition styles between slides with no pre-created templates. Word only allows you to do basic things like highlight, copy and paste, and move text around inside of your document. You can't do stuff like make a table of contents, no options to do citations or bibliographies, and if you're into sharing documents and using track changes and markup features, you also find, you also find that it'll be hard pressed that you can't use it in the free version as well. Now finally, the free version requires you to be online at all times. So if you're offline, you'll not be able to edit your documents at all. Also, if you require Microsoft Publisher or Microsoft Access, you'll have to cough up the dough and pay for a subscription or buy the software outright. So the next question is, what does Office 365, the subscription version, actually offer you? Well, there's two subscription models for personal use. The first one is Office 365 Personal, which costs $7 a month or $70 per year. Now, if you purchase it for the whole year, you actually save about 16%. The personal version unlocks all the features of Office Online and allows you to install the actual physical copy of Office on one PC or one Mac. You also be given access to the full experience on one tablet and one mobile device. On top of that, you'll receive one terabyte of online storage, which is the OneDrive storage that Microsoft offers to save all your documents, photos, and media. And of course, you can always access it from anywhere. And finally, if you use Skype a lot, you'll also include 60 minutes of Skype long distance calls to landlines every single month. So what do you get if you actually choose the more expensive model, which actually costs $10 a month? You get the same thing as the personal version, but the home version allows you to have five users use a copy of Microsoft Office. So instead of installing the physical copy on only one PC or one Mac, you can install it on five PCs or five Macs or mix them up if you want to, and you can do the same thing with mobile devices and tablets. On top of that, each user, five users, will get one terabyte of space. So this package is actually really, really good for people who have a family of four or five and who happen to all use the office suite or even someone who's just starting up a business and needs all these tools to get things going. So the price is really good for what you get and includes Word, Excel, Publisher, PowerPoint and Microsoft Office. And of course, all the features are unlocked between all of your devices. And the best part about it is that you can actually use the physical copy of Microsoft Office if you're not connected to the internet. Now, if you wanna compare that to other competitors out there such as Google, Google charges 10 bucks just for one terabyte of space with Google Drive. Now, of course you can use Google Apps to do all your editing and stuff like that as well. And this, some of the features are very, very similar, but there are a lot of hardcore users out there that rely on Excel from Microsoft to do their work. Now, of course, not everybody's gonna need to pay for a subscription. And to be quite honest, a lot of people do just fine with the free version as well. So that's the difference between Office Online, the free version, and Office 365. Let me know in the comments below which version you guys use or if you use some other products such as Google Apps. Thank you guys as always for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more awesome videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.